Welcome to Mega Nation Direct Line Training. This video will give an overview of the home screen. The home screen comes up whenever a user logs in. It is user specific, so each user may set up their own home screen the way they like without affecting anyone else. The home screen is made up of three sections. We will talk about each in this video. First, shortcuts. Shortcuts provide single click access to whatever screens a user needs. Each user can choose their own shortcuts by clicking the Modify Shortcuts button at the bottom. In this window, the pane on the right shows all the currently displayed shortcuts. Remove any that are not needed by clicking the trash can symbol. Add shortcuts by choosing a module on the left, then select a screen from that module and drag it to the list on the right. Also, reorder shortcuts by dragging and dropping them up or down. Once shortcuts are added or removed as desired, click the Save button in the toolbar. The Shortcuts window closes and the home screen is changed to reflect the new shortcuts. To open a screen that is not included in shortcuts, click the Switch to Menu button at the bottom. The shortcuts are replaced by the full menu Use the menu by selecting a module, then selecting a screen from the display list. Anytime a screen is closed, the user is returned to the home screen. Next is the analytics. Analytics are meant to give a graphical representation of the user's KPIs, as well as being exportable as reports. Each graph is interactive, allowing access to the records that make up the graph. In some cases, allowing drill down through multiple layers, such as breaking a quarter down to month, then to individual records. The analytics can be exported by clicking the gear icon in the top corner and choosing export from the list. The analytic is exported to Excel, including the graph in the first worksheet and the data on the second worksheet. To see a full detailed list, click the three in the top left corner. Click the Analytics to Display button to choose from the list of analytics. The Analytics to Display window is made up of multiple parts. On the right are the displayed analytics. These are the ones currently displayed on the home page. On the left is the list of available analytics. The list is sorted by the module, the analytic references. Click on one in the list to display the a description of what the analytic shows as well as the table in the information is coming from. Above the description, available filters for the analytics are displayed. Choose one from the list or double click New Filter to create a new filter. When creating a new filter, first give the filter a name, then set one or more criteria by clicking the magnifying glass next to the category and choosing from the list. Change the date range by clicking the drop-down and choosing from the list. Once the filter is set as desired, click Save. Now select the analytic and the filter and click Add. The analytic will be added to the displayed analytic side with the applied filter as well. Filters can be changed on displayed analytics by selecting the analytic in the displayed analytic pane and choosing a filter on the right. Click OK. The analytics are refreshed to match the criteria. Analytics can also be added in groups. Click Analytics to Display. Now click Add Group. Give the group a name. Use the radio button to choose either a share filter group or an independent filter group. With a shared filter group, a filter is applied to the group and filters all analytics in the same way. The limitation with this type of group is that all analytics in the group must pull information from the same table, for example, work orders. With an independent filter group, the analytics will be grouped together, but filters need to be applied to them individually. This allows adding analytics that pull from any table to the same group, for example, work orders and purchases. This example will be a shared filter. 
Once a group is created, drag Displayed Analytics into the group. Now click on the group name and select a filter from the right. Hit OK. The analytics are refreshed to show the grouped analytics. Change the filter on the group by clicking the gear in the top right corner and choose another filter. It is now applied to all analytics in the group. Things to note, multiple groups can be added at the same time. The same analytic can be added to multiple groups, and the same analytic can be added multiple times outside of groups and can have different filters applied. The last section is the Action Console. The Action Console is designed to create groups of records that the user needs to take action on. For example, new unplanned work orders or requisitions awaiting approval. Choose what actions are displayed by clicking the Actions to Display button. Displayed actions are listed on the right, and available actions are listed on the left. Use the Add and Remove button to add and remove actions from the displayed list. Use the arrow buttons on the right to reorder the displayed analytics. Click OK. The Action Console is refreshed. Click the line stating the number of records to view the list. Choose one or more from the list then click OK to open the records. Custom actions can be created by the user to show specific records using the Create Action button. From this screen, actions can be created, edited, or deleted. Leave the radio button on New, then click Next. Here, choose the table to pull the information from. For example, to create an action to show new purchases, choose the Requisition Master, or for an action to show safety work orders, choose the Work Order Master. Click Next. Here, choose the fields to filter the action by. This example will create an action to show open safety work orders. Click Add. Now choose Status and Type from the displayed list and hit OK. Click Next. Add filters for type and status. In this case, hit the magnifying glass next to type and choose Safety. Then hit the magnifying glass next to status, choose CL, CA, and RC. Now choose Not Equal To from the radio buttons on the right. Now we will see all work orders of type Safety that are not closed, cancelled, or ready to close. Hit Next. Every action needs to have a name and a description. In the Menu Item to Execute box, choose what screen records will open in when selected from the Action Console. In this example, choose Maintenance, Work Order Planning. Check the Action Available to All Users checkbox to allow users to use the same action. Now click Finished. On the home screen, click Actions to Display and add the action created in the previous step to the list of displayed actions. And click OK. The Action Console will refresh, and the new action will be displayed. The last customization that can be done to the home screen is to choose which of the sections are displayed. Do this by clicking the Welcome button at the top right, and hit Settings. Use the checkboxes to select whether Analytics, Action Console, both, or neither will be displayed then hit OK.